Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and outs of graphic designers pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today for T-Shirts Tuesday, I'm showing you how to vector a badge design in Photoshop and Illustrator. So obviously Photoshop doesn't allow for vectors to be made. So I'll be showing you a cheat method in Illustrator to show you how to vectorize a pixelated image after you trace it in Photoshop. So this video is actually full of a lot of value and is leading up to a mini series that I'm creating. But there'll be a little bit more on that later. But if you're actually excited about this, go ahead and like and subscribe. And today in the comment section, please tell me about your passions. I want to know what you like. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and make magic. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. And I know I've been doing a lot of stuff in Illustrator, but I want to show you guys how to do this in Photoshop. So I have my hand drawn. I did this stuff on like Procreate, you know, so and in this first layer, I'm going to use the shape layer to just go ahead and create a circle. So I'm just going to click, drag one out like this. And now that I got that, I just want to go ahead and click on this panel right here and just kind of turn off the fill. So this is where you turn off the fill. It's no color that looks good right there okay i think the stroke width maybe could be a little bit better so if i want to change that up i can just go to the top of the status bar and then move that over just a little bit i might want to bring this to like 40 and then i'll turn that one off because i really don't need that ellipse right now however up under this i just want to go ahead and make another layer and with this layer i'm gonna use the pen tool so you guys if you haven't used the pen tool before it's really super simple all right you just kind of zoom all the way in all right, I think I'm going to start like maybe right here, okay? And before I start anything, I just want to make sure that the status bar, that this is on the shape. And I just want to go ahead and drop down the strokes real quick to maybe like, I don't know, maybe 18, 19, maybe 15. I'll be all right with that. And now the way that you do this is you just click and you just kind of make a point, right? Now you can click and hold this one right here because the second point, you know, pretty much shows you what direction you're going in. So if I want to make this a little curve or whatnot, I can just bring this point out right here like this. If I want to just make it straight, I'll just hold it in this position like this. But I kind of want it to curve a little bit and now be all right. Now, I'm still holding this because this anchor point right here has to bring me into another direction. So if I was to like click over here, as you can see, it curves down. But now that I let that go, you know, that's pretty much set. The way that I would fix this, though, is to hold down Alt and then bring this anchor point over into a direction that I want it to go into. So let's just say I want this to go up. All right. Now I can plot another point and just kind of curve it without it looking bad. All right. And that's how you want to approach these type of things with the pen tool. So I'm over here like this. I'm just going to go ahead and click and then kind of drag it around, bring down the anchor point and keep moving. Do it again over here like this. I think I kind of messed up on the drawing, but I'll just kind of, you know, fix it out like so and then bring it around. So all I'm doing is trying to get this man out of his shape. And this is obviously like one of the harder things to do because it takes time. You know, a lot of people don't dedicate themselves to doing this because it takes a lot of time. But once you start doing it and you get all the way around, it start getting easier. You can start doing it a little bit faster. I'm over here explaining myself though because I want you guys to understand that this is fairly simple and fairly easy. Now there's something I want to show you guys going forward, but the reason why I left this ellipse here was for a reason. And the reason why is because at this point we got everything that we need to start creating the rest of this design. But the reason why I didn't finish this is because the actual ellipse is part of the design. So I want to show you guys how to get like this cut out. You see how I got this like separated into like two shapes. I want to show you guys how to do this with this ellipse. And so it's really simple, actually. We're going to turn the fill layer back on, and we're going to turn this into a white. And I want to drop the opacity down just a little bit so I can at least see what's going on in the background. Now with the rectangle select tool, I'm just going to go ahead and create a rectangle, something a little bit like that, and then I'm going to hit the mask tool. And I'm just going to bring this back up to like 100, all right? So we have this. As you can see, it's looking like this now, but that's not what we want. We want to go ahead and hit the command I to inverse this, to make it look like that 
Now by default, what it did was it took out the stroke. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this and then I'm gonna stroke it again, all right? And on the inside, I just wanna bring this up to maybe this right here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good right there. Now at this point, I can click anywhere and this is what we got. Now we're still not done yet, but this is a strong basis. So I'm gonna pretty much keep going, but we're almost there. Now because this was hand drawn, there's a lot of things that I gotta fix out as I go forward. So like this sign right here is leaning off to the side. So I've already plotted a point right here. All I need to do is just kind of move up, holding down shift, I can just click and that's gonna click it right into the spot. So it's making sure that it's 100% even with the last point. And then I can start making my curvatures and stuff like that. Okay, so now that we have this, and this is what we got now, now. This looks pretty good, except there's a few things wrong with this, and I'm pretty sure you guys can already pick it out. The first thing wrong here is that some of the design is already protruding the design, and that's not cool to do, all right? So what we're gonna do is just lock all of these layers down into one, and I'm gonna go in with the layer mask and just kind of get that stuff out of there. So this right here just does not need to be outside of the design. We can just go ahead and lasso tool that and just paint bucket that into black and it fits in like that. It's that simple, okay? So like this right here, this little line right here, just use the lasso tool and it's gone. And I would just go around the design just to make sure that everything that's kind of protruding it, it's just out of there, you know? Now another problem that we're kind of facing here is that when we zoom in, we can tell that this right here isn't full. As a matter of fact, it's transparent and the white background just does not come through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in and with the pen tool, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the strokes. I'm gonna turn on a fill, I'm gonna turn on a white fill and we're just gonna go ahead and fill that in. And that looks pretty good, but we still got a few things to clean up. So like this sign should be behind the bat, that sun should be behind the fields back here. And you know, just those kind of little small cleanup deals. So let's go through this and kind of do that. Now, the first thing is I want to kind of fix out this bat problem. So, so what I want to do is just bring that bat a little bit further above where that sign is at and drop that in right there. Then with the pen tool, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fill that in. So we're just gonna go ahead with the white pen tool, just go ahead and fill that in. And then we want to just go through the entire design and just kind of do that again. So like right here with this hat, I'm just going to go ahead with the pen tool, just kind of fill in that hat with, you know, white and just go from there, you know? Now with this sun, all I have to do is take that ellipse and just kind of bring that down some. So maybe like I can bring this sun like below everything right here and then I can just start filling in everything else. So above it with the new layer, I'm just going to go ahead and take white and just go around. And that's pretty much it as far as like that badge go. Now, there is some things that I can do like color it and all that, but I'm gonna get to that to another time. I am gonna put like the grass in here real quick. So, you know, just make some grass like this. But now that I got that, all I wanna do now is just put all of this into one group and we'll call this badge. Now on a new layer, I'm just gonna start making all the other stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this star right here. I'm just gonna click and we're gonna make a star. I think we'll indent the size to maybe 50% and I'll hit okay. Now I can scale that star up and just kind of put it off to the side like this. Maybe scale it down just a little bit like this and then hit enter and this is what we got. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the fill off and turn the strokes up and this is what we get. And with that one, I could just go ahead and hit command J and just move that one over here like this. Now on a new layer, I'm gonna go back into the shape tool and I'm gonna bring out the ellipse tool and I just wanna draw out a few circles. So I'm just gonna draw out a circle like this. One that's proportionate to the shape of the actual badge. And then I wanna go ahead and turn the fill off but turn the strokes on. Now I'm gonna take that with the command T and just kind of scale it out some more. And we'll just bring up the strokes to maybe like 50, 55. And then we'll make a duplicate and I'll bring that one up like maybe here like this. And then going back to that original layer, I'll just make another duplicate and I'll bring that one down like this. But that's gonna come into play at another time. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in one group and I'm gonna turn that group off, okay? 
Now I'm making another circle inside of this circle right here. I'm just gonna make sure that this actually fits and then I'll scale it up like so. Now with this one, I just wanna go ahead and change this from a shape to a path and turn off the fill, but turn on the strokes. Then I wanna duplicate that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the type tool and I'm gonna type on this path. All right, so I'm gonna type out paint the on this side like this. And of course I need to, you know, scale it up. So maybe like 105 might work out. And then down here at the bottom, I'm gonna type out black. Now to flip this black so it could be like going this way instead of like this way, what we wanna do is just press A. And what that is gonna do is just to bring up the path tool. And I can click on this circle. As a matter of fact, let me zoom in so you guys can see it. I can click on this circle and I can just flip this up like that, all right? And that looks cool, but it's still not in the spot that I want it to be. So I'm just gonna bring this down just a little bit like this, and then I'm just going to rotate it slightly. So we have this much now, and it's almost done. We just gotta kinda bring in those like circles that I brought back. So what we're gonna do is bring these circles back. I'm gonna go ahead and put a layer mask on this. And we wanna start the process of making that stream that you saw on the illustration. So what I wanna do is just go ahead and put a layer mask on this. Now I wanna take the lasso tool and just strike some of this stuff right down the middle, like right here. And that looks pretty good right there. So what I wanna do is just hit Command J, go ahead and hit Command T, and just kinda of rotate that to this side right here. So now with all of this said and done stuff, let's go ahead and make a new layer. And what I wanna do is just go ahead and hit Command, Option, Shift, and press E. That's gonna make a composite shot of everything. So now what I can do is just put all of this into one layer and turn it off, all right? Pretty much, I can turn this off and it's pretty much the same design. There was no copy paste or anything like that. This is what we got. What I wanna do now is with the Magic Wand tool, just click inside of the white, all right? It's gonna pretty much select out all the white. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the layer mask, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and invert the layer mask by holding down Command I, and this is what we get. Now that I got this, what I wanna do is just go ahead and convert this to a smart object, and this is what we get. Now, this is pretty much good to go. You know, it's a line art. You can go ahead and start coloring this in the way that you wanna color it in. It's pretty much up to you, but here comes the problem, right? When we scale all the way in, okay, we see that we got pixelation all over the place. And you know, we all know that pixelation, not fun, okay? Like we know that that's not fun, you know? So when we go to like print this out or get this put on a t-shirt, they're gonna see pixels and they're gonna be like, uh, I, I, I'm not sure if I like this, okay? So what we need to do is just go ahead and command C this whole design, all right? And then go into Illustrator where I can then drop this in. So I'm just going ahead and hit command V, which is paste. And now that this is pasted in, as you can see, it is very pixelated and all that stuff. What we can do now is just image trace this, and it gives us something a little bit like this. Now, I did kind of mess up the design just a little bit over here, and I'll show you guys how to fix that. It's pretty simple to do. But we're going to go ahead and then expand this, and then use the magic wand tool to take out all the white. Now, with this one problem, okay, with this one problem, all we need to do is just make a point with the pen tool, make another point with the pen tool, and just kind of even that out just a little bit, you know? And with that tweak, we are done. So honestly, this is a longer process to do in Photoshop and Illustrator, which is why I'm happy to announce that next week, I'll be giving you guys an introductory course into Illustrator. I want people to understand my terminology and actually know how to use these tools. Therefore, we can speed past these easy tutorials. Also, next week in T-Shirt Tuesday, I'll be featuring subscriber T-Shirt designs and websites in my videos. So if you're trying to participate, then shoot me a picture and a video in my DMs on Instagram. But with that being said, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.